Hi, my name is Hunter Tillman, and today I'm going to be interviewing Andrea Lockard about what she was doing and what her reaction was to the 9-11 attacks in America. Her name is Andrea Lockard. She was born in Jacksonville, Florida in 1959. Andrea, uh, what is your profession? I'm a teacher, and I teach children at the elementary level. Okay. And where were you when you learned about the 9-11 attacks? I was teaching a third grade class that is predominantly made up of military children. Okay. Um, well, what was your reaction uh, when you, when you uh, first found out? Well, when the first tower was hit, a lot of the other educators and people, administrators were coming around and talking to us about, you know, did we know what was going on? I turned on the television and at first I thought it was an accident and I thought perhaps, you know, someone in a plane had had a heart attack or something like that. As we were watching the television, the second tower was hit. And once that happened, I knew immediately that that was an actual terrorist attack on U.S. soil, which uh, was very frightening, especially when, you know, I've never dealt with anything like that. At the same time, my husband was supposed to be on a flight at that very time for business. So in front of the children, I had to control my emotions, but it, it was uh, very scary and very depressing and and no one knew you know where do you go from that and um, as as we were reacting to the towers we were learning that other planes had been hijacked and of course my concern is my husband and where is he and is if he is on one of these planes and you didn't know how many planes there actually were no one knew exactly what the scope was. Um, once we learned that all flights had been grounded, I was able to get in touch with my husband, which gave me some relief. But at that same time, we're watching as the towers fell, which is very depressing because you know so many lives. And they had cameras right there watching people leave. And, and it was... Um, extremely emotional and something that I certainly was never taught how to deal with because we never thought anything like that would happen here in America. And and then now I have the responsibility of explaining to these children what's going on. Yeah. How did you explain uh, to your children what was going on? I didn't want to scare them, and I, I really just wanted to let them know that, you know, just like in school when you have some bullies or you have people that don't like you, not for any specific reason uh, that they would understand, I just let them know that there was good and bad and this was not a good thing and that they were safe and they were taken care of and they did not need to fear anything and... Um, and later I got a book and we read it and discussed it, but I kept it at an elementary level so that they would still feel secure and safe, even though, of course, some of their parents were deployed. Did and they really understand what was going on? I think they did. I, I think that um, I taught it at a level that they could understand, and uh, they seemed to be okay. Okay. Well, um, since the 9-11 attacks... How has uh, how has that changed your life, and um, has it changed any kind of security things at your school? Or well, I was very concerned after that happened. I actually saw as um, the military base had, you know, an extreme amount of security. Uh, I also noticed even the commissary, the grocery store that they shop at, had an extreme amount of security. But I thought, you know, here are all of these military children at our school and I was the extended day director and we really didn't have any security and you know thank goodness nothing happened but it still goes through your mind that you know when you are dealing with extremists you don't really know what's going to happen and then 
you know, it carries over into, you know, we would go to the theme parks and all of a sudden now we're having to get our bags checked and go through security lines, football games, same thing, airports. Now, you know, you have to go through screening and, you know, people are having to take their shoes off, their belts off. And that was something that my entire life, we had never dealt with anything like that. And, you know, even traveling to other countries now at Everyone is required to have a passport. So it's really changed the way that I think. But, but more than that, these children, that's all they know. And it's, it's very sad that we live in a world that um, we, we have to worry about it every day. I was very fortunate growing up, and that wasn't anything that I ever needed to worry about. And unfortunately today, we all worry. Okay. Well, I would like to thank you very much for your time today. And is there anything else you'd like to say before we conclude the interview? That's it. It's just that, you know, as long as everyone is aware and, um, you know, hopefully one day we'll get back to the way uh, it was when I was a child and this won't be a threat and we won't have to worry about things like that. It'll be much better for the children. Okay. Thank you very much.